In this video, I'm going to show you how you could collect a biological activity data on your own using the Chamble database. So Chamble is a manually curated database of bioactive molecules with drug-like properties. So in simple terms, it is a database that contains a large collection of, you know, biological activity of molecules that we could use to build machine learning models. So we're going to build a machine learning model for what is known as aromatase. So I'm going to tell you shortly what is an aromatase. And so once we hit on the search for aromatase, we want to scroll down here and then we're going to select the Chemble 1978. And I'm going to tell you what that means in a short moment. Okay, so aromatase is an enzyme that converts an estrogen right here. I actually mean it is an enzyme that converts an androgen, or you might know it as testosterone, into estrogen. Okay, so it converts a male hormonal molecule called testosterone into the female hormone molecule called estrogen. And so the enzyme doing this is called aromatase. So aromatase is important in the sense that when there is an overproduction of estrogen, that leads to breast cancer. So to limit that, we want to inhibit the aromatase enzyme so that it doesn't pr produce too much estrogen, which will then be a precursor leading to breast cancer. Okay, so there is a lot of study in developing machine learning models for the aromatase inhibition. Um, so almost 10 years ago, no, actually more than 10 years ago, um, in 2013, or actually in 2011, uh, when I was in academia, 2011, so that was like 13 years ago, um, our research group did a study on the aromatase inhibitors. And we did, you know, using molecular docking which is a computational approach that allows us to investigate whether specific molecules will be able to bind to the aromatase enzyme. So aromatase is a protein. Uh, here are some of the aromatase inhibitors. A is the natural substrate called androstene dione. It is the androgen. So uh, B is the estrone or the estrogen. Uh, C through I are the aromatase inhibitors. They are the known drugs that could inhibit aromatase. However, there is still, you know, an ongoing effort to identify molecules that may provide better biological activity than the known aromatase inhibitors. So this study did molecular dynamics and molecular docking to look at the binding of the molecules, okay? Then shortly, two years later, our research group did an exhaustive collection of the aromatase inhibitors from the large chemical libraries available out there at the time. And then we were able to perform exploratory data analysis, or EDA, of the chemical space of arom aromatase inhibitors. And so at the time, we had 973 compounds that we manually curated. So less than a, a thousand compounds. And so, yeah, shortly after that, that led to several other studies along the same line where we performed um, other computational studies like applying proteal chemometric modeling. Uh, we have also built several QSAR models to predict the aromatase inhibitory activity. Um, yeah, so I'll provide the links to all of this in the video description. And so, you know, simply put, what you need to know is that aromatase inhibitors, the study of which will allow us to, you know, discover new therapeutic agents or drug molecules against breast cancer. So we've searched for aromatase and then we selected Chembo 1978, which is the ID number of the human aromatase enzyme. And the aromatase enzyme is part of the cytochrome P450 family. And it has a specific um, subtype called 19A1. So you see here that the cytochrome P450 family has 
you know, so many members in the protein family and 19A1 is distinguishing aromatase from the others there. So it's kind of like a unique identifier. Yeah. So scroll down here and then the biological activities will be here. So this provides a big overview that it has 6,099 total biological activity. And so the one that we're going to be using today will call, will be called P. Chemble. Okay, it's not shown here. P. Chemble is actually, you know, like the aggregation of KI, um, IC50 and also PIC50, which are the biological activity that provides higher quality in terms of the, um, you know, the interpretive nature of the assay that has been performed on it. So they're re really reliable for us um, performing further studies on. Okay, so once we've clicked on that, we're going to have, you know, this large collection of molecules. And then we have, you know, like respective columns here. So we're going to actually do a study of the p Chemble value. We're going to predict the p Chemble value. So let's find p Chemble in here. Is there? Okay, there's not. It's not in here. Okay, so we can't filter it out here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to download the entirety of this data set. So I'm going to click here on CSV, right at the top, CSV. And it, it has been generated. And now we want to download the file. So click on download file and it will download as a zip file. And then the zip file will, will need to be extracted out, uh, for your convenience. You could go to github.com slash data professor, go to data and then find tremble 1978.csv. So this is the actual data file that was downloaded from Chemble database. So if you click here, view raw, this is what it looks like inside. Okay. So it's like a, a CSV data file, but instead of having comma, it has, um, the semicolon. All right. So this is the data that we're going to use for the entire project of this tutorial series. Okay. For, for the bioinformatic from scratch, we're going to continue in the next video. So yeah, links to that will be provided in the video description and also in the pinned comments and yeah, part of the playlist. So I'll see you there. And if you reach this far, please drop a fire emoji. So now I know that you're still here. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science and please enjoy the journey.